My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Race number five, the start of uh, jackpot two, 1,600 meters the distance, 14.50 is the off time. It's an MR79 handicap and uh, having a look at the market, number one, Cupid Song, tops the boards at three to one, seven to two about Pascali, nine to two, Future of Energy, 11 to two, Midnight Caller, and then it's seven to one and better bar those. Now, there's a horse that's going to be the each way play in the race for me. That's number three, ultra quick. I think he's going over a distance that, that could well suit him now. He is down in class as well in, on his current form. Three draw, he's on a mark of 78. And when you have a look at the rating that he achieved early on in his career, 99, a lot higher than what any other horse in this race has managed to achieve. He's down to a 78 and his last start, four and a half lengths, behind uh, Shampompo Champizi. I think a run of, of that nature is good enough to see him uh, in with a in with a each way chance in, in a race like this. He is having his second run after layoff. It is his first start on the poly track, but there's no doubt that he would have done uh, work back on the sand at, at Summerfelt. And I think if he takes us to the surface, he could be a, a massive play. It could be a horse that is ready to uh, go over the, the mile at this point in his career. Now that he's strengthened up, he's more mature. And I think that um, at around 10 to one, he could run a nice race. He's run two lengths behind Anfield's Rocket over 1,200 meters. He's run um, a good two and a half lengths behind Master Josh, two and a half lengths behind Diani and Champompo Champisi. So he's, he's got some solid form to his name. And if he uh, puts his best foot forward, I think he could be a runner. But you've got the likes of Cupid Song, who uh, won a very gutsy race last time out beating Josh Hartsnake. He'll strip a much for horse. And Richard Faris, two from two aboard this uh, son of Oratorio. And these, he's a horse that you happened to catch right last time out. Yeah, you know, that's the type of horse that you want to find uh, a horse like uh, uh, ultra quick, you know, the one that you gave you. If you manage to grab that for the pick six rail, then you're going to lose a lot of tickets here. So that could be a nice find for the show, uh, ultra quick. So at around 10 to 1, you're looking for a result. And I think that you could get one in this type of field. I mentioned that I've given the place accumulator for the show. I've gone two runners here uh, in the place accumulator. I've really played it narrow and just hoping to survive. And those will be numbers 7 and 4. Uh, Pascali, a uh, guard puller's runner with Muziania. You know, last time out from that wide draw at Hollywood Bed Scottsville, we uh, saw him finish off his race. In fact, when they crossed the line, I mean, he was well clear of the opposition, the way he was finishing off. And uh, that form line has seen all around the world come out to win. Tom Zack coming through to win from that form line. I'm just looking at uh, the way he races. And, uh, you know, it's a strong field, but I'm sure Muziani would assess his opposition, have a look at the speed maps know that you can't give start against this type of field and try your best to uh, you know get over from that wide draw and try and have your horse in a position where you'll be confident enough that he's going to run on from wherever you got him placed but you can't be sitting towards the back of the field yeah i don't think you're going to be able to match strides with some of these horses in front of you so it all depends on how muzi you know assesses the field and where he has the horse position because there's no other horse in the race, and I can almost guarantee this, that will finish quicker than him. So, if he's in the first half of the field, I think he wins. Number seven, Pascali. And then number four, Rodriguez, uh, with Chase Mozin up. Uh, the recent form, you can see, you know, when he's not winning, he's earning stake checks. He's a horse that will give you a solid shift on his day. He's put in some good efforts, and uh, the poly track is no problem for him. So, those are my two runners. Uh, number seven and four for the place accumulator. Uh, for the pick six, well, it'll be foolish to ignore Richard Faree these days, uh, wherever he's traveling. He's just a man on a mission, and he's riding winner after winner, chasing that twa twa cut. So he rides for Tony Riverland on a horse that he remains unbeaten on, two from two. So that'll go into the pick six. And then uh, number nine, Future Energy. That post maiden run was good, but. Could he be up against this type of level of form? Because 
that last start was good, but he'll have to raise his game to another level because I think this is a bit more competitive than what he faced last time out. Seven and four, I'm hoping to survive here in the PA, Rahel. You know, that's the way I, I'm going to be playing the PA. For the pick six, I think it's a bit more competitive than that, but you've picked out a nice 10 to one shot there. Yeah, I think even a horse like Catch the Tune can uh, certainly have some sort of claim with the one and a half cages off the back. I think if, uh, if I was going to go with numbers in the PA, I'd throw in uh, two, three, and nine. Those would be the three horses that I play around in uh, the place accumulator. But you heard the numbers from DZ, number four, Rodriguez, number seven, Pascali, horses to include. And then number one, Cooper Song. Let's see if he can uh, go back to back. It looks what like a few for the pick six. You know, the more, more look at it. I'm, I'm trying to try and narrow it down. You know, with the rule, if it's nine runners, you're going to play. Watch it. It has to be four runners. To come through with four runners, I think you'll be a winner in the pick six. So. Oh, it's like Teichman on his day. He can't be ignored. Yeah, don't talk to me about Teichman. When he beat captain of the green, I still have nightmares yeah. about that win. I was thinking about that yesterday, in fact, <laughs> when I was having a look at this. But, uh, yeah, let's see how uh, race number five does unfold. As you heard uh, from these, it could potentially be a field race. You've got horses at a, at a bit of uh, a price that can make their presence felt in race number five, which is the start of Jackpot 2. Good fun days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have you know companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into into making a day like this possible is uh, it's it's fantastic for everyone.